Are there any surveys of economists on the determinants of healthcare price increases in the U.S., particularly over several decades? It was asked recently on Politics Shay what drove healthcare, actually healthcare insurance prices in the U.S. to rise faster than the CPI. Neither of the top two answers resorted any actual econometric analysis, but both illustrate some popular ideas. Answers to this question, namely, demand for healthcare is inelastic. Healthcare insurance providers basically extract economic rent. Most upvoted. The market is not free due to licensing and other forms of regulatory capture second most upvoted and accepted answer in a comment below the second answer from this short list it was pointed out that other confounding factors may exist e.g. price increases due to technological innovations e.g. mri that suddenly everybody wants once they become available looking at wikipedia's article on this which none of the piche answers actually bothered with it does say for example that the congressional budget office analyzed the reasons for healthcare cost inflation over time reporting in 2008 that although many factors contributed to the growth, most analysts have concluded that the bulk of the long-term rise resulted from the health care system's use of new medical services that were made possible by technological advances. In summarizing several studies, CBO reported the following drove the indicated share shown as a range across three studies of the increase from 1940 to 1990, technology changes, 38 to 65 percent. CBO defined this as any changes in clinical practice that enhance the ability of providers to diagnose, treat, or prevent health problems, personal income growth, 5 to 23 percent. Persons with more income tend to spend a greater share of it on health care, administrative costs, 3 to 13 percent, aging of the population, 2 percent. As the country ages, more persons require more expensive treatments, as the aged tend to be sicker. According to Federal Reserve data, healthcare annual inflation rates have declined in recent decades 1970 to 1979, 7.8% 1980 to 1989, 8.3% 1990 to 1999, 5.3% 2000 to 2009, 4.1% 2010 to 2016, 3.0%. While this inflation rate has declined, it has generally remained above the rate of economic growth, resulting in a steady increase of health expenditures relative to GDP from 6% in 1970 to nearly 18% in 2015. CDC cited for this last sentence, what I want to ask here, are there any IGM-like surveys what economists think were the main factors for the faster-than-CPI U.S. healthcare cost inflation, particularly over longer time frames? Does a survey of economists find agreement for example with the CBO's conclusion that technological changes were the main factor over longer time frames? If there are no such surveys, are there highly cited economics papers that substantially disagree with the CBO on the determinants? This was actually already indirectly answered by the IGM forum. In this question the forum asks economists the following. The U.S. spends roughly 17% of GDP on health care. According to the OECD, most European countries spend less than 12% of GDP. Higher quality adjusted U.S. health care prices contribute relatively more to the extra U.S. spending than does the combination of higher quantity and quality of U.S. care interpreting quantity and quality to reflect both greater American health care needs due to underlying population health and the delivery of more or better health care services to Americans. With the following answers, from European economists, enter image description here, from US economists, enter image description here, since the quality of the health care depends, correlates with the technology this answer, albeit only indirectly, suggests most top policy economists think it's the technology and possibly also increase in incomes, assuming reasonably quality health care is normal good. These are also the two main aspects mentioned in that CBO report.